The COVID-19 response unit is back in action and we have just been alerted to a very large outbreak of the coronavirus in the Life Invader offices. So we are packing up our response unit van and we are heading over there to see what's going on and to see how we can contain this coronavirus outbreak. Let's go see what's happening. And by the way, only a small percentage of viewers who watch my videos are actual subscribers. So if you like this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you'll really help me out. And here is the Life Invader building. We're gonna pull up to the building here. Let's find a spot to park up and then we're gonna go see what's going on inside. Again, a large coronavirus outbreak was reported happening here at Life Invader. Okay, the COVID-19 response unit is 1023 here on scene. Let's get right into the lobby. Uh-oh, oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness, these people are like coughing right next to us. We have multiple people here, here on the floor. All right, let me make my way here through the crowd. All right, everybody, you guys are gonna be just fine. The COVID-19 response unit is here. Let me talk to this gentleman. He looks like he might be he might be in charge or maybe he is the security guard. Uh, who is in charge here, sir? Our CEO, he is upstairs. All right, I guess we're going upstairs. Let's see if we can find the CEO. Oh my God, look at this. There's just people lying here on the floor. They must be running like a really high fever. A lot of people out here are just coughing. We're gonna make our way upstairs. I see somebody right over here. Look at this, like people all over the floor. Oh my God, there is a large coronavirus outbreak out here. How did this happen? How can Life Invader allow this to happen? All right, hello everybody. Okay, stop coughing all over the place. This guy's trying to play the arcade games while he's like coughing all over it. Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, where is the CEO of this company? Oh, he's just around the corner. The guy wearing a suit and motivating everyone to keep working. Of course he is. Of course he's motivating everyone to keep working even though everybody is sick with the coronavirus. All right, let's look for a guy in a suit. That's not him. Oh, I think that might be him right there. I think that could be our CEO. Look at that. He's like, come on, everybody. Keep working. Keep working. No, I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. Uh, hello, sir. Are you the CEO of this company? There. Yes, I am. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Um, you have a coronavirus outbreak in your office? That's the problem. Nah, just a few people are a little sick. I'm not too concerned about it, to be honest. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna have to take drastic steps here to contain this outbreak. Okay, do whatever you want. Just give me a few minutes to leave. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think he's going anywhere. Sir, you are staying right here uh, because we are going to be quarantining everybody. Look at this. I mean, there's people just like all over the building. There's some people that are working. There is a guy sitting there. There's a few people there sitting behind their computers. They're being motivated by the CEO to work while everybody else is on the floor coughing up a storm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so clearly... Lots of issues going on over here. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's spot check a few people. Let's spot check this guy right here, sir. Hello, I saw you uh, saw you there coughing a little bit. Let me talk to you, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, do you feel sick or do you have any symptoms? Are you coughing, sir? What's going on? I just threw up a little while ago. He threw up a little while ago. That could be the coronavirus. When did you start getting sick, sir? Oh, about a week ago, I thought of uh, going to the hospital, but didn't. Yeah, that's right. You decided to come to work because your CEO was telling you to come to work, wasn't he? Okay, sir, let me take a look at you here. Let's see if we can do a quick little evaluation. Let's see here if we can uh, check his temperature and see if he's got a fever, perhaps. He's got a fever of 42! 42 Celsius. That is quite the fever, okay? So, yes, he probably has the coronavirus, okay? Uh, let's spot check somebody else. Let's spot check. Let's spot check this guy over here, sir. Sir, turn around for me. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any symptoms? I I'll back away a little bit, but I'm wearing a full protective suit, so I think I'm safe. Uh, sir, do you have any symptoms of the coronavirus? Do you feel sick at all? There. I can't taste anything. Well, that is definitely a symptom of the coronavirus. And when did you start getting sick, sir? There. I woke up this morning and felt terrible. And you still came into work. That's why the coronavirus is spreading all over Life Invader. 
Okay, let me take a look here at your fever. Let's see if you do have a fever at your temperature. Let's see if he's got a fever here. He's got a temperature 41.3 Celsius. And again, those of you who might be in the comments right now, post in the comments what it is in Fahrenheit because I could never do the conversions. I always do these videos and I'm always like, what is it in Fahrenheit? I never know. Uh, there you go, 41.3. It's got to be like 96 or close to 100 Fahrenheit. 41 is really high. My God, so everybody is basically sick. You're all sick. How about you, sir? Let me take a look at you. Okay, stay right there, sir. We're just going to take a look at you here, okay? Let's see here if you got a fever. 41! So everybody has a fever. Everybody is here. They're all working, <laughs> i.e. standing around, coughing all over the place. How about you, sir, playing video games over here, okay? Let me, uh, let me talk to you, sir. All right, let me take a look at you. Do you have a fever? I'm going to take your temperature, sir. Just stay right there. Do not move. All right, let's see if he's got... 41.9! I mean... I couldn't make this up if I wanted to. They all have fevers. They're all here. They is coughing all over these machines. Then everybody is playing the arcade games. Oh my god. All right. Well, we are going to have to take some drastic measures, I think. Uh, oh my god, what happened to the stairwell? <laughs> what happened to the stairwell? For a second there, I thought I was hallucinating. Maybe I got the coronavirus infection and I was like, oh, I don't see any stairs. No, the stairs are here. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay, we are gonna have to call in some ambulances. Let's start getting these people transported. And then, I think what we're gonna have to do here, because this building is so infected with coronavirus, we're gonna have to institute Code Black. I'm gonna go outside here. Let's call the ambulance and sit in. Let's get all of these people out of here. And, uh, let's clean up this mess. All the ambulances have arrived to load up the patients and take them to the hospital. I'm gonna go ahead and seal the building because at this point, no one is ever allowed to go inside. So let's see if we can just put on some tape over here like that. Alright, the building is sealed. Just maybe put some at the top here, like, like right across like that. There you go. Seal that up. Nobody go through there. Put some over here. Now, I am actually going to go through, but I have a good reason for it. Because we are going to institute Code Black. That's something that the COVID-19 unit has never done before. Hey, you were told to evacuate. What are you still doing over here? Everybody, you guys better leave because we're about to institute Code Black. Get out of here. Go, 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 I said. Hey. Get off the computer. No more work to be done. All right, lady. Get out of here. Code black. Hello. We're instituting code black. <laughs> there we go. Just burn it all down. It is code black time. We're going to burn out down the entire building because it's full of coronaviruses. Everything here has been infected. We cannot save it. The only way to get rid of the virus is just to burn it all down. All right, let's get up here. I probably should have checked upstairs before I instituted Code Black, just to make sure there's nobody up here, but you know what? Oh my God, there's people up here. <laughs> Everybody, evacuate. Evacuate or you will be burned. Let's go, 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 everybody. Get out. Get out while you still can. We're instituting Code Black. The COVID-19 unit is here. It is Code Black, Code Black. This building is a coronavirus hey, contamination move. zone. All right, let's go. Let's burn it all down. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, there's a lady there! Lady, get out! Code black! Ah! Whoops. She might have gotten caught in the flames. All right. I totally did not see her. That's, that's not my fault. All right, there we go. Drastic measures. Drastic measures by the COVID-19 unit here as we burn down the entire Life Invader building. Like I said, we have instituted Code Black. Some of this furniture apparently is flame retardant. It's not burning down. Hopefully the other people were able to escape. We still have, I think, a little bit of fire over here, yeah. There you go, drastic measures taken by the COVID-19 response unit in response to the massive coronavirus outbreak at the Life Invader offices. And that's a wrap for this one, but now check out another video here coming right up. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and don't forget to smash that like button. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!